Hey everybody, I'm Nikki. And I'm Brian. And we are Cooking, Cooking with, with Dakotas. Dakotas. I'm a finance guy with barely any cooking experience. And I'm a registered dietitian with professional culinary training. And together, we're gonna to teach me and you how to cook in the kitchen. We are making rice today, but not just any rice. We are making risotto. Ooh, risotto. Yes, yeah, so risotto is a traditional Italian rice dish. And it's different than just normal rice. This is gonna have a much more creamy consistency. And when you hear risotto, you may think it's a long drawn out process and you should only have it at a restaurant, but it's actually really simple to make. So we're excited to show you today. Let's get our mise en place. Okay, so all the ingredients we need for our risotto. The first and most important ingredient is the rice. So this is a specific kind of rice we're using. It's called arborio. Arborio rice originates in Italy and it is a short grain rice that is most well known for risotto. And a short grain rice, you can tell what that is by how small the actual rice kernel is compared to some other types of rice that are longer and thinner. So with the arborio rice, it does have a very high starch content and specifically the name for that is amylopectin. And that helps with this risotto dish to make it nice and creamy. Whereas another type of rice may not have as much starch as this one does, so it won't result in the same texture that we're looking for. A couple of the fats that we're using for cooking this dish is some olive oil and butter. We have shallots here, and you could replace that with onion if you'd like, it's totally your choice. It's on you, boo. We have some Parmesan cheese that we're gonna be finishing off this dish with. And then the liquid we're gonna be using is some chicken stock. And then we have some wine. We're using a dry white wine here. And the wine gives this dish some good flavor and also some acidity. And that will help balance out the creaminess and the richness of this dish. Are you ready to get cooking? Yes.
It's fresh off the stove and you want to eat this right away before it gets too stiff like a librarian. So let's go ahead and try it now. Hmm, tastes like chicken. And that comes from the risotto soaking up that chicken broth that we used. So you can also use a vegetable broth or a beef broth or even a shrimp broth or a fish broth, depending on what flavoring you're wanting your risotto to be. And also that depends different pairings. You can pair it with shrimp, you can pair it with chicken or scallops or many other things. So it is a very versatile dish and understanding how to make this base, it can open the realm of possibilities. Yeah, and just to piggyback off what he said about the other things to add to it. So adding vegetables is definitely an option like mushrooms. You can um, add mushrooms in the beginning stages of the cooking when you're cooking those onions. The mushrooms will bring a lot of flavor to the rice during the whole cooking process. And you can always add like steamed asparagus and little little pieces. Adding that to the mix towards the end of the cooking process will be a good addition too. But again, we're just wanting to show you a very basic traditional version with a with the Parmesan cheese and a little bit of butter, uh, just because that's tradition. And right now we have it as like just the bowl by itself, but typically this would be mixed in with meat if it's the main dish, or it'd just be a little portion of rice, like maybe half of a cup on the side if it's a side dish. If you're adding some kind of protein to this, like meat or fish or whatnot, having like a side salad would be a good thing to kind of balance it out. Or if you're not adding any meat or protein to this at all, have some meat on the side with a vegetable, just so you're getting that balanced plate. Some of that steamed asparagus on the side is also delicious. Mm. But just like our risotto, look for that nice al dente. So we hope you enjoyed making risotto with us today. We'll catch you next time on Cooking with the Codas. Hey, thanks again for watching today. We hope you enjoy this risotto and its many options that you have with it. As always, let us know in the comments what you want to see us make or if you tried it and you loved it. If you didn't like it, there's plenty of other dishes for you. <laughs> Please make sure to like this video, subscribe to our page, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss a single episode.